Sagan is software that runs on Unix-like operating systems like Linux and FreeBSD. Sagan reads in log data, like from syslog or Windows event logs, and looks for possible compromises or attacks. If an attack or compromise is detected, Sagan will generate an alert to inform your security team. Sagan works a lot like Sourcefire's Snort Intrusion Detection System. However, Sagan examines log data rather than network packets. The quote on the screen is from the official Sagan website. For more information about Sagan, check out sagan.io. This short video will show you how to install Sagan from source code. The system that we are using in this video is Ubuntu version 12.04. Sagan is written in C, so our target system will need to have a C compiler. We'll start out by installing the Ubuntu Build Essentials. This will install our C compiler and a few other utilities that we'll need. In order to compile Sagan, we'll also need some other developer tools like AutoMake and AutoConf. To download the latest Sagan source code, we'll be using Git. I'm going to go ahead and install these now. Now that our compiler and developer tools are installed, we can start installing libraries that Sagan might use. libpcre has to be installed on the system Sagan is being installed on. This is the only required dependency of Sagan. This library allows Sagan rules to use regular expressions, which is a vital part of Sagan's functionality. libdnet lets Sagan build pseudo network packets from log data. This allows Sagan to write to the Snort Unified 2 output format. If you plan on using a graphical console like Snorby or Squeal, you'll want to install this library on your system. libesmtp allows Sagan to email alerts when it's detected something bad. If you want Sagan to have this ability, you'll want to install libesmtp on your system. libpcap lets Sagan sniff syslog data from a network interface. If you have access to a network tap or spam port within your environment and wish for Sagan to sniff syslog data off the wire, you will want to install libpcap.
LibGOIP allows Sagan users to write rules to trigger based off of geographic locations. For example, it might be okay for users to log into a VPN from within the United States, but considered suspicious if users log in from outside the United States. LibGOIP from Maxmine allows for this type of functionality. LibGOIP should be installed if you plan on using the Sagan GOIP rule sets. LibJSONC is used by LibLogNorm and Sagan for internal communications. If you plan on using LibLogNorm, you'll need to install JSONC. LibLogNorm is one of the ways Sagan is able to extract useful data such as IP addresses, ports, and usernames from log messages. This is known as log normalization. LibLogNorm is one of the methods used by Sagan for log normalization. While this library is not required, it is recommended. I'm using Git to download libestr or libestring from GitHub which is a dependency of liblognorm. I'll then compile and install libestring. I'm now using Git to download liblognorm from GitHub. I'll be going through a similar process used to compile libestring to compile and install liblognorm. We've completed installing all the required and optional libraries. We can now move on to compiling Sagan. Using Git, we download the latest Sagan source code from GitHub. To start off, we are going to run the dot forward slash configure without any flags. By default, Sagan will be compiled with libdnet support for unified2 output, liblognorm for normalization, and snortsam for automatic firewalling. This means email and GOIP will not be enabled. 
Once we see the Sagan dog, we know that the configuration process has been successful and we can go ahead and compile and install. I'm going to run the make clean command and we'll rerun the dot forward slash configure again. This time we'll manually enable GOIP, SMTP, and libpcap support. Again, our configure has run successfully, so we'll do a make to compile Sagan, and then a make install to install Sagan. If you ever want to know how or when Sagan was compiled, the Sagan binary will tell you. Simply run the Sagan command with the dash dash help option. Notice at the bottom of the help screen are the libraries that Sagan was compiled with, along with the time and the date. The process of compiling Sagan has now been completed and you can move on to configuring Sagan. For the latest Sagan news, check out Sagan.io. You can also chat with us on Freenode, pound Sagan. Or you can post comments or questions on the Google Group Sagan discussion board.